Welcome to Chicken Tape. <laughs> and guess what, asshole? To the inn. And then to a store. <laughs> guess what, asshole? We're going to bed! <laughs> so. Longbow. Ooh, the teleport tome is worth some quiche. Garlic? Oh, neat. You just dump some garlic on some zombies. Ugh, funk. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh. I'd say garlic adds fragrance to your soup. <laughs> you better get that methanol back to all the air. Princess Hilda is waiting for you. All right, thank you. Hey, let's go talk to your... Hi. Thanks for saving me. Okay, sure thing, female version of Floyd the pervert. Thanks for saving me. <laughs> Rick! <laughs> oh god, Satan! <laughs> Dad, fucked. Oh, you got one! Nice. <laughs> Those the Sasquatch, the soldier, and the goblin are all sitting there playing cards in space, and all of a sudden an angry bee appears! <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Fuck, we're trapped! We're trapped in a void with a bee! <laughs> uh, More warp! Girl punch bee. Curl gets stung, hand like tomato. <laughs> Hit harder. Uh, can, can curl get wet wipe hand gooey? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! It's like them to make it a straight shot upward. The Empire also suffered heavy losses at the Battle of Finn. They're building the Dreadnought in Bast to help compensate for those losses. Learn the Dreadnought. The Empire's using the people of Bast to build the Dreadnought. Dreadnought itself is a massive, heavily armed airship. A man named Sid, the former captain of Finn's Order of the White Knights, built an airship. It's a ship that sails the skies! But the airship captivated him, body and soul, and he soon left Finn. Mwah, we are 100% earning that voice acting tab. <laughs> we are poor for his absence. He took all the money! <laughs> <laughs> I'm told he now lives in Poft, granting travelers passage on his airship for a price. He then uses this money to drink himself into oblivion. <laughs> <laughs> he uses this money to make further renovations on his airship, or so the story goes. Oh, what's the pilot from Henry Stickman? I don't remember his name. Oh, what a great character. Oh well. Uh, Mithril. Please lose no time in bringing back the Mithril. Oh shit, the Mithril! <laughs> Now we'll finally be able to fight the Empire on equal footing. He added take him body and soul. He literally turned into the airship. I'm an airship! We <laughs> Please take the um, um, <laughs> I'm certain he'll be able to use it to make you some magnificent weapons. I'm nothing but a coward. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Edward. It's the Edward before there was an Edward. Um uh, wait. Give him the ring. That ring, it's my brother's. He really said all those things about me. Oh. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Where the hell is the blacks? Where's is he, is the he in the resistance Smith? building? Where's the blacksmith? <laughs> uh. 
Is he in one of the side buildings? So are we gonna do something about the king at some point? No, fuck that guy. Honkshu. <laughs> and now to suffocate and die. <laughs> No, but seriously, where's the bikes? <laughs> There's no other houses here. She said it was the town blacksmith. That means he's here. This is the church again. Where's the blacksmith? Did she say something and I'm just an idiot? Do -do -do -do. Although in this case, you're also the idiot. Yes, I know. Ask, but no. Uh, key items, Mithril. Please take the Mithril to Tobol, the town blacksmith. Am I missing something? Is he in... Oh, oh. Fucking... Yeah, but there is a weapon shop and an armor shop. He could well, be in either of them. Then we'll go in both of them, and he'll be in one of them, presumably. That building has no door. Also, <laughs> that's not armor. That was just a hat with a plume. Oh, there he is. Why do you want me, just an old man? Oh, that miss, that's Mithril. Oh, that Mithril. I wait for chance to work metal long, remember? Shut up. I'm waiting for the chance to work this metal for as long as I can remember. All right, leave the rest to me. Swords, armor, you name it. I'll start crafting. It's been too long since I let my hammer ring, if you know what I mean. Oh, God, no. Ding, ding, benches. <laughs> I would like two Mithril Longswords. You can buy the equipment I made over at the shop counter. This will keep my hands full, I'll tell you that. i tell you what. <laughs> oh, we have a whole nother person here now. Oh boy, time to go grind for cash. We need 1400 for her, and that's it. Oh yeah, because he's already got a Mithril bow. And he punches things. Yep. What about mithril armor? I make mithril and mithril accessories. <laughs> oh, yep, we got a new man. Uh, <laughs> Looks like we need a few thousand. <laughs> we need so much money. Podcast mode. Wee! I want to know what everyone, what everyone's favorite fucking cookie is right now. Cookie time. Let's go. Get Yo, let's go. Add another goblin to the poker party. They've upgraded the magic by now. <laughs> chocolate chip. The old standard. You prefer chocolate chip or chocolate chunk? Do you like little bits of chocolate so it's not overly chocolate? Or do you want chocolate or do you want like big old chocolate chunks? So sometimes you bite it and it's like, oh, it's so chocolatey. Chocolate chunk. Chocolate. <laughs> So you're so you're a uh, you like choc a little chocolate to your cookie. You're not a I want chocolate exploding out of my ear holes while I'm eating. <laughs> it's just carved cookies with solid blocks of chocolate. <laughs> and bake. Whee! Oh my cookies. <laughs> I haven't heard parties. what Graydon's favorite cookie is. Yeah, come on, Graydon. Catch the fuck up. <laughs> and who else is in chat? Who's listening to this and not participating? I don't care if you're lurking. You stop what you're doing right now and you tell me what your favorite kind of cookie is. Unmute the stream. I won't be satisfied until I hear Coda's favorite cookie. <laughs> Boy, Slink's got his work cut out for him. <laughs> You know, have some fun. Just put random shit on the screen. Make my dudes explode. <laughs> 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 
Make me explode! Make Panda explode! <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, make Ark a pumpkin. Uh, make like... Panda sin. <laughs> Man, don't ask the impossible. It's not impossible. There's still hope for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a panda's head on a stick person. There you go, just cut out panda's head and put it on the stick man. Like a little, no, it's just a popsicle stick. <laughs> oh, my face. And a partridge and a get warped. <laughs> And take your pears with you. Nice, two Yo. warps in one go. Dude, is warp five the threshold? Dude, am I getting one, like? Uh-oh. Explain, Craden. Explain quickly. Oh, they don't drop anything? Oh, that makes sense. But that's okay. Goodbye. All right, there All right. goes one. So if Crane's theory is correct, there should now we should now only get seven piles of gold. Six piles of gold. Five piles of gold. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just add more angry bees to the void. No, no there's eight. eight piles of gold. Cool. Wow, freaking five was the threshold. And now we'll never level it up again. <laughs> Rats. No, bees. <laughs> no, one of them ran. That will surely not get their money. Oh no, he's poisoned. That will surely not get their money. <laughs> She's poisoned. Now we owe them money. Yo. Yo, let's go. Feels good. Get <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> yep. <coughs> I like to imagine that wasn't even like bird instigated fight. No! We're just sure. We need Five another. gold. We don't need the curaces or the long swords. And then bye. I just want to warp all because it's always fun when you hit more than one. We have been dumping a lot of people into that poker game though. <laughs> like I said, it's, it's upgraded to just Magic the Gathering. Ah, Basked. Come on, that's too many consonants. I need a pass to board the Dreadnought. Okay, what kind of money do I have? Are you a ninja? When is the Dark Knight coming back? At this rate, we're going to fall behind schedule for sure. Uh oh. Cecil? Alright. Buy a couple of high potions. I feel like these are the ones we want right now because we don't have. If Minwoo bails on us, or, you know. Uh, we don't have any, like, heals or anything. Um. For ultimate shielding and evasion, buy his orb. What's this? Back to work! Work, I say! If we finish him in one day sooner, my glory will be exponentially greater! Oh, I can't get all those peel bar savage out of my mouth. Uh-oh. Is it grind time? <laughs> It's grind time! <laughs> Basuna and Asuna! What awaits us in the swamp? Money, that's what! Ah. Uh, no, oh, our money! Come back here with my cash! Wait, there's more people in check! Baldrick, Hanyo, I need to know your favorite cookies! Right now! Right now! What's your favorite cookie? Tell us! Tell us! Tell us! <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Ark Ruins His Camera. <laughs> also, I don't remember if I said this, but I did find out that onion cookies are a real thing. 
Ew. That's actually that's either horrible or surprisingly delicious. Well, uh, I forget who I was talking to, but they were like, you know, that might work because there are some onions that are quite sweet. <laughs> Hans says they're calling the food police. So I have a confession to make, guys. Um, I ha I have declared many times that. Uh, Macaroni and cheese and ketchup is disgusting. Did you try it today? I've never actually tried it because it sounds fucking gross. <laughs> um, but I figure if I'm gonna shit on it all the time and be like, oh, you're gross, uh, you know, I should actually put some in my face and make sure that I'm not just talking out my ass. So I tried some earlier today because it was, dinner was hot dogs and mac and cheese. So, I conveniently had mac and cheese and ketchup on the same plate. So I tried it. It's fucking gross. <laughs> like, the tomato flavor is fine. Okay? I could see making mac and cheese with, like, tomato chunks. That would probably actually be pretty good. I can see that. It's the sugar. It's not even the vinegar. It's the sugar. Like, I don't want sweet cheese. <laughs> The RB putting caramel in your mac and cheese. <laughs> Actually, no. That's in fact, not I'm true. so pissed off at you right now that I'm gonna uncheese your mac and cheese. Um, it's not even that because I do like like a cracker and a sharp cheese and a jam. I do like that. It's something something about the sweetness of the ketchup just doesn't work it's weird Sorn had the opposite response to curry Paso. when she tried it she didn't like it like Japanese curry mm -hmm. she didn't like it she thought it was way too savory and I was like well you gotta try it a second time oh. maybe the second time I got distracted add like sweet stuff to it like, put in fruit. Yeah, apple curry. Apple curry is incredibly popular in Japan. Um, I have... I actually had that same feeling about a lot of Indian cuisine. Indian cuisine is super savory. Like, it's overwhelmingly savory to me. I don't know if sleeping will let's find out you know what that's a good point science ow 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 what it's very confusing because i enter the town up and i come down into the town ow 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 okay we're not like falling <laughs> over <laughs> just walking through town dragging these two members through like vomiting kermit <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna make a Shao Gorath character. <laughs> because I want his main thing to be like <laughs> He like there must there's gotta be like a pocket dimension spell <laughs> where I can just f fill it with as much cheese as I can find. Oh my god. And then during one combat I can just be like Cheese wheels for everyone! <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. Detonate an atomic bomb of cheese. <laughs> you don't even have to be a wizard. Just get yourself a fucking bottomless bag. <laughs> bag of holding and just stuff it with unlimited cheese and then turn the bag inside out. Yeah, and then set all the cheese on fire. Magic. Magic. Uh, Warp entire party. <laughs> And then life entire party. <laughs> yeah, but if I accidentally... What if somehow I roll party wipe? <laughs> like I did with, um... In Final Fantasy VI, when I I glitched it out and I and Gao learned Tornado. Or, yeah, and Gao learned Tornado. Which you're not supposed to be able to learn. But I got it. Somehow. And, uh, it turns... And Tornado is... No, not tornado. Sneeze. Yeah. I learned sneeze. That's a famous glitch, is the s sneeze trick. Well, it's it. I didn't get it that way. Gao just 
magically learned it while I was grinding in the Velt. And uh, Sneeze is an ability that ejects your party from... No, it was Tornado. It was Tornado. It wasn't Sneeze, because Sneeze just ejects your party from the battle. Right. This one party wiped me. <laughs> because that's basically what it does. It's just like, wham! And I'm like, my party! <laughs> what happened? Straight up there with the time when uh, Reflect wore off. <laughs> <laughs> and someone and uh, someone party got nuked to death. So into the town we go for the sleepies. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> My wallet. 